I'm Sandra and thank you for joining me. Let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you left secondary school only able to read and spell and write your name and address? Let me ask you another question. How hard do you think life was only able to do those things at that level? When I left school, that was what happened to me. Life was quite rubbish. Of course, you need to read and write because you want to apply for things, jobs, financial support, local services, learning to drive, all those good things that require you to be able to read. Then probably you would have to fill out an arduous form which definitely would require you to be able to spell. Wow, let me tell you, that was something I had to do. I'm now 40 years old and the challenge for me has been to get over my dyslexia. And the same goes for many, many people with learning difficulties. So now I'm a dyslexic adult, but I have pushed and taught myself how to read. Now my dyslexia is all, almost negligible. I managed to teach myself and now I teach others. I go into schools, I work with young people, I work with teachers, educators, and all the services that work with people and young people that are either learning difficulties at school or disaffected by school and not want to attend. I work with challenging children and I enjoy my work. I push myself to learn to read and manage my dyslexia so that I could provide better for my family. I now run two businesses very successfully for the past five years and increase my income to over 60%. So if you're interested in doing some work in relation to supporting young people, adults and professionals that want to improve their skills and find that they might be dyslexic or have some sort of learning difficulties, then please do contact me. I'd really look forward to seeing and hearing from you. You can contact me on www.a1tribe.org. Thank you very much for watching me, Sandra.